okay. This is the. Uh, yeah. This is the the po the post. This is the divorced Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, so my my parents are getting a divorce, and like I I think I need a little a little outlet to cope with that kind of a thing. So we will be making. We will be doing a divorced, divorce Minecraft Let's Play, a cope, divorce cope Minecraft Let's Play, um, so I can vent all my fucking depression. Uh, so we're gonna name this. Uh, I hate my parents. I want to die. <laughs> um, we're gonna make that hardcore. Uh, we're gonna see just how uh, how quick uh, it takes for me to fucking die. Uh, so when this when I die in this game, uh, that's the, that's when I'm that's when I'm fucking putting a bullet in my brain. That's the end for me. The end when I die in the game, I die in real life. Uh, yeah, so we'll be chilling. Here we go, hardcore mode. I literally have not played this version of Minecraft in fucking forever. I have not sat down and played Minecraft seriously in a long, long time. Uh, I think I'll just keep all the settings how it is. Press E to open my inventory. Fuck you. Let's build a let's build a fucking depression shack. Let's do that. Let's. Let's make our house for the hopeless right now, real quick before night falls. I run out of shit to do. Oh god, I'm I'm very tired right now. Uh, I uh, but also I am I am coping. I don't know. It's like. Sometimes, sometimes things just kind of happen, you know, and it's not like you can, you can do much of anything, uh, and you know, we can be sad together, just you, you and good old me, and, and this fucking chicken, except not for very long, because this chicken is not going to live. Fuck you, chicken. Fuck you and the egg you came from. The other chicken you came from. Yeah, he's all on his own. But his parents divorced too. <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. You know, I, I kind of forgot all about uh, how the music in this game is just so good. I feel like that's the only thing about, about anything that stayed the same, you know? I feel like that's, there's something about that like that's a little universal. It's like... Not only... Okay, it's really fucking loud, though. Not only... Not only do... The world changes, but... But I... I don't have to like it. And also, I, I feel like music affects people the same. Uh, no matter the generation, almost it feels like no matter how long, how t how how much time may fly, music uh, tends to tends to say stay impactful. I mean, like, have you have you listened to classical music? Like, I I don't really like classical music that much, but I can definitely say that you know Beethoven's fucking Symphony Number no. or whatever the hell, that shit slaps, still slaps. 
uh, nothing's changed. It's been like over a hundred years, right? That's sh that shit's still fire, and I don't even like classical music, and I'm saying that. <sighs> it's just, there's just something about it, man. It's a little more permanent than my parents' marriage. <laughs> I don't know. And it's like, it's one of those things, you know, that just happens. And it's like, man, that sucks, doesn't it? That fucking sucks. But it's not like you can do very much about it. So you just kind of gets to suck, and you get to just, like, watch, like, very, uh, concrete parts of your, your, like, very concrete pieces of your, of your life, um, kind of just... Uh, fall apart in front of your eyes. <laughs> and the next coming, the next co coming days, will be the hardest for sure. Probably, I don't know. It's just like you kind of look, you look at the future, and you don't, you don't see good things. All right. And there's like you had something so stable before, and now it's, it's, uh, it's very much not stable anymore. It's something that that has been stable for decades at this point, and, <laughs> and it just all falls apart in the matter of like two months. The fucking weird how that kind of happens. It just it like makes you think about how temporary this all is. Like if you if you really you did dig deep about that, I guess find the temporalness of everything. Temporal. I don't know. Oh, we got these fucking these trees, these trees, bro. Gotten them down. We got more chickens. Uh, nah, we gotta get out of this spruce spruce forest. I don't like I don't like it here. The nice thing about only having one life is uh, you don't have to you don't have to worry about about the future as much. You know, it changes your perspective on things. You can uh, you can walk away from the spawn point because it doesn't matter. You can be a little more messy with how things are because you know, you know, you got to do it right one time. If you if you end it, you're done. You know, there's no there's no the storage systems aren't real. You know, you don't need to have a good sorting system, a storage or anything. You have to keep your inventory clean because that shit's all 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 gonna be gone when you die. It's just the end of it. Just the end. <sighs> I think I'm way too much about aesthetics right now. It is like really fucking light. But here I am. Here I am playing Minecraft instead of getting much needed rest. Instead of getting sleep like I probably should be doing right now. Hmm. Uh, man. It's just, it's not even like a really good time to do that kind of thing either. It's just like, bad timing. No. Ah. And uh, here I am. Just not being able to talk about it. It's really weird seeing people, two people, you know, who, who've always been like, synonymous with each other. Uh... And now you look at them, and they won't even look at each other. And you just you just get nothing but resentful vibes. You know, maybe it's not resentful of you, but it's definitely resentful. Uh, and it's just like, damn, that sucks. <laughs> just, and it's like, I'm not even that upset about it. Surprisingly. Um, which I think is more, uh, concerning for myself, because I, it is like pitch black, it is completely dark, we, we're going back up, because, uh, it's just, uh, I, I had, I had a couple of months to think about things, but now that stuff's like way more official than it was a few months ago, I don't know. It's just, 
It's just like added onto this. Like I've never been that ha a very happy person, but like this, this has not made things better. <laughs> this doesn't help, but it's not like, like I've fallen very far. If you get what I mean, like my my emotional state has not changed all that significantly. Uh, just because of this, uh, and it's like usually when divorce and such things happen uh it has it, it there's a little bit of like you you see it happen you see it coming and it's like uh like not to brag or anything <laughs> but i kind of i kind of saw it coming up uh like years in advance like up, up to i'd think about eight years and before it actually did happen um not to say that like i'm like a fortune teller you know like, i'm not like i'm not like a psychic i, I can't like not to brag about like my my for my prophesizing skills or anything, but you know you just kind of get that vibe from some people. <laughs> and needless to say, I think I got that vibe. Uh, didn't realize exactly what to do with that information. Uh, not that I think anybody who's eight years old would get that would would know what to do with that information. But oh, not eight, sorry, ten. Um, okay. Well, I think I know what I gotta do. Sorry, man. I know. Life's tough. Deal with it, pig. I don't know why you can't. You're dead. Sucks to suck, doesn't it? Hmm. Should I have a door? Nah. I don't need a door. I'm, I'm too good for a door. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh, I was talking to one of my friends about this, and he was like, "At least, at least you can you can quote the movie American Psycho and say that I am a child of divorce, something like that." I don't actually know what the quote is. He he quoted it to me, and I'm haphazardly remembering it but now I have an excuse for bad behavior now I can go this is the reason the way that I act the way that I do <laughs> this is why I did this thing when that's never really even though, even if that's not true yeah I've got, got that uh, I've got that now but then again you could say I'm a little bit old I'm a little bit old to to have to be salty about this or to act out. I'm too. I'm. T I'm supposed to be more mature than that, you know. But you know, like, what if? What if I don't want to be more mature about it? Eh? Like, I don't know. When I, it, it, I'm at the. I'm a. Oh. Yeah. Turn entirely red. Oh, dude. I. I think I think it is time to start thinking a little bit more about self-preservation than I have been in these uh, recent last couple of minutes. Um, let's make a torch. But uh, I I just keep thinking about this one YouTuber uh, known. Known as Tomska, uh, he I watched uh, one of his vlog videos where he uh, he he said that uh, his parents got divorced when he was like 25 or something like that. Yo, what's up, cow? Yeah, come in here. We're all friends here. It's not like I'm gonna eat you late later. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not gonna do that. Um, uh, maybe I'll I'll give myself a I'll go mining. Anyhow, what he said was like, most people think that uh, after you turn a certain age and your parents get divorced later on in life, uh, that doesn't hurt as much, uh, but that's like wrong. <laughs> it hurts just the same. It's fucking awful for a divorce, something like that. And I'm like, I was wondering, I was like, hmm, that's interesting. And I just kind of, I guess, subconsciously knew that I'd, I, that something like this might happen to me. So I, I've kept that in my mind, just kind of chilling there, until I guess in this moment, uh, where I can reflect on that. 
Uh, yeah. I have, like, uh, a really nasty headache right now. Um, I think it has something to do with me uh, consistently neglecting my sleep. Um, which may or may not have something to do uh, uh, with things. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I neglect my sleep. I, I, I have problems, and I don't think those stem from divorce. But I can most definitely confirm that, that it sucks on um, all sides. And um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like that might be obvious to the average the average person, but I, uh, I don't know. It's just like, it's more of like a matter of fact thing where it's just like, yeah, that happened. And I don't know why if I am feeling the way that I am about it because like, I feel like I should be a little more upset and I'm not. It's like, I, I, I was, I was in a, I was in a mood for about three days. Uh, when I, uh, when I came to the conclusion, uh, <laughs> When I, when I, well, not when I came to the conclusion, but when I overheard, you know, the two of them arguing, um, and they, and they, you know, dropped the big old divorce word in the argument, um, and I was like, well, hmm, I wonder what that, I wonder, I think I know what's happening. <laughs> uh, and I don't know. I just, I, I had my moment right there, and uh, ever since then, I have uh, I have simply not uh, not really thought much about it after that. I was I was like upset for three days ish, and then I just I just I just it just kind of withered away, I guess. The, any emotional attachment, and now I'm just kind of like I feel calloused. I feel like like emotionally hard <laughs> like not not like like rock hard or anything like you know not like like in a sexual way but like emotionally in like a like a a broken sense almost um uh needless to say uh that is not a fun feeling to have uh for anybody especially when i i definitely feel like i should not be feeling the way that i am but maybe it's just like like a like a part of shock or something, but I feel like I, cause I'm not like, I'm not in a, I'm not, I don't feel bad. I just, I just feel like a little, a little like a little jittery right now. Um, yeah. I was talking to my, my friends and they jokingly went Minecraft, uh, divorced let's play. That's a great idea. That's so funny. You should do that. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I'll absolutely do that. Uh, and here I am. I think that's a. I think it's an acceptable coping mechanism. <laughs> I could just rant, un unscripted, about random ass things. Like I don't even. Uh, I don't even know. I'm just, just chilling. Conceptually, this is kind of funny. So I'm. I'm here, and then maybe maybe this will actually help, uh, for long term stuff. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Um. Is that, that sounds like, uh, the night is coming to a close and the day, a new day shall be a beginning once more. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm. There's something really nice about the music in Minecraft, though. It's got a level of serene peacefulness that other games. 
Other games just don't have. It's got a nice calming effect, but it's not like, it's serene, but it's not safe. Which I think adds to the vibe significantly. Serene, but not safe. All right. Hey, that's enough for me. Uh, I will go to sleep now.